So these are chalk pits um, originally dug out by the Romans in the later period uh, when champagne was uh, introduced in the beginning of the uh, 19th century these um, places were used for storage in fact there's around 200 kilometers of tunnels under ants this company Le Veuve Clicquot has around 24 kilometers of tunnels which can be pretty high as can be seen up there uh, Around, most of them are around 20 metres high, but this seems to be much larger here. Let me see, see that. Oh, it goes up to the very top. Just before serving it at the table, which worked more or less. That's where you can see the genius of Madame Clicquot. In, she starts looking for a solution. At the time, her number one market is Russia. She's selling 70% of her production to Russia. So, voila, she's looking for a good solution to make her champagne crystal clear. Because as you see, voila, I touched it and it's pretty cloudy. So in fact, at one night, well, she invented this, the first relic table. So the system of turning and tilting the bottles, and every day we'll put them into more and more vertical position, uh, to get uh, finally what she wanted, a crystal clear champagne, because the whole yeasty sediment is on the cork. So of course today, Madame Pico is very much ahead of her time, so she wanted to use all the innovations. Um, we use the machines to riddle. Of course, uh, uh, the, all the standard bottles will be riddled by machines, like this one, Giro Palette. But all the big size bottles, like this one, so Giro one size, and La Conga, because the shape of the bottle is different, will be riddled by hand. So you have to know that we have a riddler here, still, still here, and a skillful riddler can go up to 40,000 bottles per day. Usually they do. 5,000 bottles per hour. So right, left, right, left, right. So we have well, there's a long staircase up there. You're going to have to take my word for it, though, because it's not coming out on the screen. Yeah, and this is the very top, and it's not that that's coming out at all.